What's up, peeps? So in Season 3 Reloaded, we had a new perk. We had perks added into the game like Rebirth, but also we had that 50 HP increase, which buffs some perks that a lot of people don't know about. So in this video, I'm not only going to tell you guys to use these perks because they're OP, I'm going to talk about what other best perks, depending on the kind of play style that you guys have. And with that being said, let's jump right into this video. So let's start with the perk one category. We're going to go with double time. Now, double time is still pretty useful. If you guys didn't know, it doubles the duration of tackle sprint but also a very underrated part of this it increases crouch movement speed by 30 percent now so when you're crouching you can significantly move faster and this allows you to flank enemies so they don't hear your footsteps for the next one we got eod now eod i wouldn't say is that op uh again you take a 45 percent reduced damage from explosives and fire but with the new addition of serpentine i do think this one is going to be significantly better now who should run this well normal players i believe shouldn't run this maybe if you're playing caldera you should run serpentine in case people are shooting you but also be aware serpentine does only work on your health so on the first part, which is plates, a serpentine does not work. Once your plates are gone and you get into your normal health, that is when serpentine kicks in. Now, if you're using a ride shield class, like I love using my ride shield class sometimes, I believe this is good. You grab the ride shield, you put it in your back, and you're running away from enemies, and you got serpentine, and they can only shoot at your feet, and you got serpentine and the 50 HP buff, definitely it's going to take a lot of time for somebody to shoot you. But again, in the general day-to-day, -day, I don't think anybody should be running serpentine if you want to be playing fully aggressive or anything like that. Because, again, serpentine is more for when you are retreating. And like I've said before, I always like usually use perks that allow you to be aggressive, that allow you to increase your skill. Next up, we got Scavenger, which they did buff this. Uh, if you guys didn't know, now it not, not only replenishes you extra ammo, but you can also replenish plates from dead players. I still think don't, I still don't think this is the best perk of the game, but uh, again, I don't think anybody should run it. Next up, we got Cold-Blooded, and yes, I'm sorry, before I do say my Plunder people always hate on me, but yes, use Cold-Blooded, I guess, if you're playing Plunder, so the helicopter or whatever comes out doesn't shoot you. But overall, again, this one does not trigger a high alert warning, and it also negates combat scouts, so when people shoot you, they can't see you through walls. I, it, it's a pretty decent perk that, again, will prevent you from this thing happening, but this, in turn, doesn't allow you to be aggressive, and it's not really a perk that is going to give you that advantage when you're pushing and for you to be a better player. Again, I would say it's a good perk, but again, it's for people that want to be a little bit more passive, a little bit campier. These are the sort of people that will use cold bloody. And in the next one, we got kill chain, which again, increases your chance of finding kill streaks. Completely useless. This is the one, quick fix is the one that I would say is now meta. And this is one of the ones that was buffed indirectly with the increase of health. So if you guys didn't know with quick fix, killing players, which it's not also killing. It says killing players, but I swear I've downed enemies and it starts getting up my health. But killing enemies or downing him or also inserting plates immediately starts health regeneration now why is this buffed because now we have more hp so before killing or downing an enemy or either plating up will refill your health uh, 100 hp but now with the increasing health now you're getting 150 hp which is significant and trust me i've done this multiple times when it all seems lost and you are in the gas one of the greatest places you can do is if you see an enemy go ahead and down him because downing that enemy will get you that health back up again even if you're in the gas and i've done this so many times without saying it out loud but i do it with that intent so i do believe that this is one of the best perks in the game right now if you want to be aggressive for perk number one either run double time or quick fix those are the two best perks at the moment Next up, we got Restock, and this is my all-time favorite. I wouldn't change it for anything, and I still think Restock is the best perk to go, especially if you want to be aggressive, you want to get in the mood of learning how to play better and push more people, use Restock. Why? I'm not saying it because of the stuns or the flash grenades, but snapshot grenades are the most overpowered tactical right now in the game, and getting snapshots every 25 seconds trust me that is something very overpowered again if you're playing rebirth it's super important maybe if you're playing caldera i'd go with another perk instead of restock um uh, maybe you could go uh the next one that we're actually going to talk about hardline again just don't even care about but that but tempered is actually pretty good one of the reasons though i would say not to run tempered is uh i have found tempered quite a bit of the times now that you can find perks on the ground tempered is one of them and i have found it quite a significant amount of times on the ground but again if you guys aren't running restock i would say that tempered is also a pretty good option refilling like if you can find 
quick fix and tempered that is super beneficial like for example you could be to one hp and you play it up once you've already played it up half your plates and already got 150 hp so with that one plate you could literally regenerate about three quarters of your health within a matter of seconds compared to somebody that does not have that Next up, we got Overkill, but again, I just do think this is one of the most useless perks out there. You do not need Overkill. Right now, I have learned that the Psychov is a meta again. Trust me, that thing just absolutely fucking destroys. It uses the Psychov or the AMP, and trust me, you don't need to run two weapons. Not to mention that the weapons from the ground are actually pretty useful. Let's say you grab your assault rifle from the loadout, and in the ground, you can find purple whale guns, blue whale guns, blue Owen guns, MP40 with fire, and there's always some teammates that come to the loadout and pick one of those up. So more than likely almost 100 percent of the times you will find a weapon that is pretty good that you can compete with and like if not like not if i said um you can use your psych up next one we got high alert and this is one that from picking from the ground i kind of like the more i use this perk and the more i pick it off from the ground it's actually pretty usable so you can obviously see uh whenever somebody's watching you you can observe them you get those indicators in the, your screen depending on what side they're looking at you from. And as well, obviously, it says that footsteps from Dead Silence are audible. But as we all know, footsteps in the game are broken. So this really just doesn't matter. But if you're a person that maybe runs heartbeat sensor, right? So you're not using your, your snapshot grenades all the time. High alert is pretty good. Especially when you're playing Caldera, high alert is pretty good. But one thing that I will say, high alert gets buffed when the player that's using it is actually good. When the player that's using it, if, if you use it correctly, which is giving callouts, that is when high alert serves its maximum potential. If you're playing in a team, only one person needs to run high alert. He's getting aim from somewhere behind him and he immediately tells the whole team, team, I'm getting aim from behind, Northwest 300, I, I see him, he's at the water tower. Team, I'm getting aim from the left side. If that person that's using high alert, remember, always communicate with your team and that is how you get the most out of high alert. Just using it by yourself, not the best using it to toward your team that is when you get the most advantage from it ghost again it's a pretty decent perk but again i would say it's one of those perks that just allows you to be a little bit more campy because you're not detectable by uavs radar drones or heartbeat sensors but again you do have to be moving so ghost is still pretty decent but again i still would say that it's not a perk that is going to allow you to get your gameplay better and be a better more aggressive player point man again overall not pretty good so overall, out of the perk number two, if you want to be super aggressive, use restock. If you're going to use snapshot grenades, you must re use restock. Like, the whole point of snapshot grenades is to always have them. So if you're using snapshot grenades, don't use uh, any other of these. Tempered and high alert, just really depending on what you want to go. But both of these perks are really, really good goal. Like I said, you can be super aggressive with quick fix and tempered. Because again, plating one time, it immediately starts to generate your health. And also you get half your plating back, which is really, really good. And high alert again, like I mentioned, if you're playing as a team, playing on Caldera, really good perk to run. Next up in the perk number three section, we really don't have that many good ones here. Tune up, not that good. Shrapnel, not that good. Uh, engineer, not that good. And tracker, pretty decent, but I wouldn't say it's one to run. Battle Hardened is pretty decent because I have seen a lot more people running snapshot grenades, but with that new addition where you can pick up first perks from the ground, I have noticed a lot of battle, ha battle Hardens on the ground. Same with Tracker, I found a lot of them. So that leaves us with two choices that a lot of people like to use. We got Combat Scout, which is the most used uh, perk three, which I believe this is incorrect. I don't think anybody should be running Combat Scout. Again, when you really think about it, maybe in Rebirth, the times that it helps you the most is if you're shooting somebody in 10th section, maybe around that area. But think about it. If you're not shooting at somebody through 10th section, almost every other part of Rebirth, you can't really shoot through it. I mean, it's, it's, it's gone, right? You can't really shoot through that part. Not only that, most of, the, most of your fights, think about this, people that are running Combat Scout, what are most of your gunfights? Is it somebody right in front of you or are you shooting at that person through tents? If your answer is you're shooting most of the people through tents, then I guess by all means go ahead and use Combat Scout and maybe you might start thinking that you should stop camping and maybe move a little bit throughout the map. But if you think that most of the time you're shooting at somebody that's right in front of you, Combat Scout is completely useless. I mean, unless you're blind and you really can't see the person in front of you, there's really no reason why you should run Combat Scout. Amp is the way to go. One of the most overpowered perks that a lot of people don't actually realize what it does. 
A lot of people don't say, well, I mean, I really don't care about my faster weapon swapping. It doesn't really matter. When I'm running SMG, I'm running it all the time. So for me, again, I'm not swapping weapons when I'm going into a gunfight. But it's not just that. It's not just swapping your weapons faster. What else do you do while that swaps your weapon? That is using your equipment. So do you throw stuns? Do you throw snapshots? Do you throw Semtex? Do you throw frags? Do you use throwing knives? All these things will allow you to be quicker on, your, on the draw. And most of the time when you're using your equipment, you're in that close quarter scenario, right? Using that throwing knife, you're using it right on that close quarter scenario. So you always wanna get your weapon ready faster. And yes, Ant does come into place there. When you're using your equipment, your weapon will be ready to shoot faster when using Amped. What is another thing that you do that uh, swaps, not swaps your weapon, but swaps your weapon ready to get faster, ready to shoot? That is while plating up. And yes, they had done a test a long time ago, but I might do it again just to show people what it does. But so plating up will actually be faster. The whole process of you putting your weapon down, plating up three times and bringing your weapon back up will be faster if you have amped again because you put your weapon lower faster and once you're finished the plating process that weapon will come out faster and again that's something that you're doing while you're being aggressive a lot of the times you're plating up on the run and you want to have your weapon as ready as possible so no it's not just switching weapons or going why why there's all these other benefits that come from using amp and overall i think you throw equipment and plate and switch weapons a lot more of the times than you are shooting people through a tent. So ladies and gentlemen, those are my best perks. Again, depending on really what you wanna run, those are my best perks that you should be running at the moment. Let me know what you guys think about it. Peace out everybody.